love to celebrate the 716 and next week Buffalo's vibrant theater season will get underway. We are 10 days out from curtain up by the Theater District Association of Western New York. It will kick off a week from this Friday with a cocktail party at Shays, followed by a bunch of different shows at area theaters. You can see there at 730 and then act three will be a free street party on Main Street happening at 10 o'clock at night. Lisa Ludwig joins me now live. She is an actress and director, perhaps best known as managing director of Shakespeare in Delaware Park, very active in the theater scene. And what what title exactly for Curtain Up? Well, I'm, I'm the co-chair co of the Theater District Association and co-chair of Curtain Up. This is, well, I mean, you go sort of from one busy season to the next. Right? Yes. But Curtain Up is a big deal. It is. It, it seems to me, I mean, I've covered it uh, over the years. As I look at what's planned, this seems like a big one. It is. It is our 41st in-person mm. uh, year, and we're actually starting uh, Curtain Up off on Monday the 9th. Uh, Anthony Chase, a local reviewer and scholar, is getting his star on the nice. walk of uh, walk of fame on the Plaza <laughs> of the Stars at 5:30 on Monday, and then we get geared up for curtain up, which is Friday the 13th, which is going to be a lucky night for Buffalo oh, because right. we have so much theater going on. And you already said there's a kickoff party at Shays, uh, which people can get tickets to. I highly recommend that. Yep. And then there's 12 plus different theaters um, having shows that night, and you can find something for everyone. And if that's not enough, there's a free street party afterwards with music and still walkers the AKG art mobile will be there fire dancers you know that's it's awesome. it's the perfect way to kick off the season absolutely that's going to go by the way on Main Street from Tupper all the way to Chippewa Correct. So pretty good stretch there um, I'm sure you expect a lot of people it really does kick off the theater season um, and the fact that you're gonna have all of those shows happening simultaneously that night how much of an undertaking is this well you know again people a lot of people don't know there's over 20 professional theaters in Buffalo. So wow. we do like to call it the kickoff of the season because there's other shows that are opening the next week or two weeks after. So just to have 12 on that night, like I said, I, I for, forbid anyone to say there's nothing for them because there's comedies, there's musicals, there's drama, there's improv. So I think people are just going to have a great time. And again, you can pick your own adventure. You can go to a different restaurant, you can go to the kickoff party, you can go to one of the shows, and then again, Again, the street party is absolutely free. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. I have about one minute left. Let me ask you, just looking ahead, because we're going to talk again um, later this week yes. about some of the the special things happening with Curtain Up. What are you? What are some of the things you're most excited about for theater season now that it's started? There's too much. I mean, no, <laughs> and, and that, not the that spot. there's too much theater, <laughs> but there's so much. And I always love meeting somebody who goes, "Oh, you know, there's only this theater," and it's like, no. So yeah. I think Curtain Up is the perfect time. If if you have a theater you love going to, maybe experiment over a curtain up weekend and go to a different show. Go to a you know, go on our website, look at all the different offerings, and maybe try out something something new this year. I saw the Facebook page. Tell me the the website where people can get more information. Uh, it's, I'm going to say it wrong, but I think it's <laughs> curtainupbuffalo.com. The best uh, thing to do is Google it, right? right you can to, easily to find go it. up. But yeah, they definitely want to check all the offerings, and then even for kids and families on Saturday the 14th, theater of youth is having to curtain up for kids that day so people can find something for their kids to do too. Good stuff Lisa Lovely. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Thank really you. You it. too. All right.